Check Spelling tab of the Options dialog box. Let's go up to our application menu and go to our Options dialog box and let's go to Check Spelling. If we go up to Settings, we get a couple of different settings we can check. We can ignore words in uppercase. You might want to do this since we tend to use uppercase lettering in drafting so that people can read them easier out in the field. Uh, so also we uh, ignore words with numbers. So if we have a number in it, we, we tend to have a lot of numbers and things, so we might want to ignore those. Uh, ignore capitalized words. So if it starts with a capital letter and then the rest are lower case, we might want to ignore those. Uh, ignore words with a mixed case. So here we have uh, an uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase situation. Uh, find repeated words. That's a common uh, typo mistake. You know, we, we say the and then the again. Uh, so that we, that's one we probably want to search. You can change all the settings you want anytime you can go back and restore defaults. And these two are defaults, are uh, ignore words with numbers and find repeated words. Uh, we can also change our main dictionary. We can go with American English. We can also go with the British English, you know, and where they say schedule and stuff like that. So they have a few different spellings of different words. Um, and we can also go with French, German, Italian, etc. Additional dictionaries. Uh, here's where we have a personal dictionary where you can add words in yourself. So you can go and hit edit and you can add words. Now a personal di dictionary you might want to put things in like Bordeaux or Kink Key or KCC. Uh, those are types of things that would be added in your personal ones. Um, in the building industry dictionary, a lot of terms are uh, not in the dictionary but used quite often uh, in architecture. Uh, so if we go to edit for example, we find that they have already listed a lot of these things. So for example, if we go to concrete, uh, you know, different ways of doing concrete, all capital letters, capital C and then all lower case and you know, etc, etc, one with a period at the end. So concrete's a very common thing but you know, it would be normally uh, underlined if we checked it in a normal dictionary because you'd have to spell the whole word out. CMU is, for example, is concrete masonry unit. Very common abbreviated term in architecture, not going to show up in a dictionary. So we can change anything we want here in our check spelling tab of our options dialog box.